Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, we are going to solve this question on lead code regarding active users. The difficulty level of this question is medium, and I'm going to share the SQL schema as well as the Panda schema in the description box below. Okay, the question reads: We are given a table called accounts with two different columns, ID and name. ID is the primary key column with unique values for this table. This table contains the account ID and the user name of each account. Okay, we are also given a second table called Logins again two different columns ID and login date. This table may contain duplicate rows. This table contains the account ID of the user who logged in and the login date. A user may log in multiple times in the day. Okay, active users are those who logged in to their accounts for five or more consecutive days. We are asked to write a solution to find the ID and the name of the active users. Return the result table ordered by ID. Okay. Let's go through this example. So here we have two different people, Winston and Jonathan, and various logins by these people. So who is a person who has logged in for at least five or more consecutive days? So if we look at ID equal to seven, that is Jonathan, they logged in on 30th of May, 31st of May, 1st of June, 2nd of June, twice, 3rd of June and 10th of June. So if we look at day one, day two, day three, day four twice and then day five. So it does not matter if you log in five times on a single day. That is not how an active user is defined in this question. It should be five consecutive days. And here ID equal to seven satisfied this, right? So day one, two, three, four and five. So ID equal to seven, that is Jonathan should be in your output. And that is what we have. So to solve this question, what we basically need is in our output, you need the ID as well as the name. So firstly, what we can do is we can join these two to have all the columns at one place. So from this table called logins aliased as L, let us left to join the accounts table aliased as A so that we have the names as well. So aliased as A using the ID column that is the common column and then let us return both the columns from the logins table and we are only concerned about the name column because we already have the id from the logins table so a dot name okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so now what you have is we have the id login dates and the names okay however as the question says a person can log in multiple times in the day and we do not care about that right because if on a particular day you log in one time or ten time it will only be counted at once because we need to look at the consecutive days and not how many times a person logged in on a particular date so what we can do is we can only keep the distinct combinations of id login date and name so what we can write is let's write distinct here because here if you look at it on 2nd of June 2020 you have two different rows for Jonathan that means the person logged in twice. So if I go ahead and run this it will only keep one of them because that is important for us. So it only has one row now. Okay now once we have this what we can do is we have solved similar type of questions where we had to find consecutive numbers, consecutive seats and all that. In all these questions, whenever you need to find some consecutive stuff, all you need to do is remember what consecutive means. Consecutive means that it should increase by one. So apply the same logic everywhere. So for example, if you take numbers, let's say three, four and five. And obviously, if you go ahead and rank this, right? So this is arranged in ascending order. So this is ranked one, this is ranked two, and this is ranked three, right? So if you take the difference between this, so three minus one is going to be two, four minus two is going to be two, five minus three is going to be two. So if the numbers are consecutive, the difference is always going to be the same. And this is the same concept that we need to apply here as well. Here, what you have is, we need to firstly for every ID order by the login date and rank. So what we can do is we can save this entire thing in a common table expression. So with CTE as this entire thing goes into parentheses and then what we are going to do is from this common table expression let us keep all the three columns and then rank. Now we need to write row number and then use the over clause because this is a window function and for every id we need it right so partition by 
the id column and then order by the login date in ascending order and let's alias this as rank let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so now if you look at it you have for winston only two logins and that to not on consecutive days and for jonathan you have one two three four five six and the if you look at it it also increases by one right so what we can do is now apply the same concept that we need to calculate the difference between the login date and the ranks to see whether the difference remains the same if it does it means it is consecutive so what we can do is let's save this in another common table expression too as and then what we can do is put this entire thing into parentheses as well and now from this common table expression to what we are basically doing is let us keep all the four columns and then subtract so date subtracts remember this is login date is a date column right so you need to follow the format that is required by sql so from the login date you need to subtract rank but you cannot subtract directly rank so you need to basically write interval so basically you need to subtract these many days interval rank day and if you will alias this as diff let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so now if you look at it since these numbers are consecutive you can see the difference always remains the same the moment it is no more consecutive the difference changes so once we have this what we can do is in our final output what we need is we need the id and the name so how can we do that we basically what we can do is from this you know common table expression you need to group by the id and the name and then also this difference because if you look at it if you group by this and count how many rows do you have and it is greater than or equal to five that means that particular id and name are the people who have logged in for at least five or more consecutive days so you can go ahead and do diff but this diff won't be recognized so what is this diff we calculated it with this formula so instead of writing diff you can just substitute it here so group by all these three columns and return me in the output we only need the id and the name and if i go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so right now we will be having both the people so we have both the people but we only want to keep that person who has at least five or more logins so having count star greater than equal to five okay let me go ahead and run this now let's see what do we get so yes even though this is accepted there is still a flaw in our code so it says jonathan here right but think about it here you only had one case where id is equal to seven logged in for five consecutive days from 30th of may till 3rd of june suppose the same person from let's say 10th of june 2020 till 15th or 16th of june 2020 they logged in consecutively as well so if you do this you will have jonathan twice in your output obviously you do not need it to avoid duplication because of such cases you need to write that hey even if a person is logging for five or more consecutive days more than once just return me the distinct id and names so let me go ahead and run this now it will still say accepted but it will pass all the test cases so let me go ahead and submit it to pass all the test cases so yeah, this is accepted and this is how to do it so yes tricky question what we had to do was firstly what we did was we kept all the distinct combinations of id login dates and the names once we had that then we ranked for every id and ordered by the login date because we learned about the logic that we usually use in consecutive stuff that if you subtract them the difference always remains the same as long as it is consecutive we applied the same logic and kept only those rows where logins were at least five and we returned the distinct combinations of id and name so yeah, this is how i do it let me know if there is a better more efficient solution to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video